All right, so we are here at Bonneville Salt Flats, and what I wanna do is a controlled speed test where I can go 30 to 80 miles an hour, and I'll be able to watch the desired injector command. We can see the total amount used during this drive cycle, see how it goes up the quicker we go, or maybe it uses more at 30 miles an hour. I don't know, I don't know how this data is going to work, but we're using this awesome brand new launch uh, scan tool right here to monitor this data. I have not even tested this out yet. This is definitely the first time I'm doing it, but we're at Bonneville Salt Flats right here. Nobody's out here, just us. We're able to do whatever we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to bring it up to 30 miles an hour, and let's see how our numbers change. Total reductant used is uh, 0.004. So let's go ahead and set our speed Cruise control set at 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna go over here to try to find my blue line. Look at that, we're already getting some reading. I like it. Let me get to this nice blue line so that way we can know we are traveling in a straight path. All right, 40 miles an hour, you can see uh, reduct reductant injector command. That is number one reductant injector. There's two on this 3.0 Duramax diesel. And we're sitting at a steady 1516 on uh, on consumption. So it is injecting into number one only, not number two. I find that very interesting. We can see our NOx con concentration. So it looks like we're sitting at a solid 17 at 40 miles an hour. What happens when we bump it up to 55 miles an hour. So now accelerating, you can see the def consumption or the reductant injector is commanding a lot more, bringing us up to speed. So we're sitting at 55 miles an hour right now, cruising, and we're coming back down a 14-ish. It's actually lower, lower than it was at 40 miles an hour. We're definitely using less def at 40 miles an hour or at 55 miles an hour than we were at 40 miles an hour. I find that very interesting right now. All right, we just saw injector two come in. So it is coming in to double our reductant fluid spray. Thank you for that. And that's at 55 miles an hour. It's kind of coming and going. Now let's go ahead and bring this up to 65. You can see both of them are spraying at this point in time to bring us up to speed. Definitely going with the fuel flow. We need more fuel to get it up to speed. All right, we're sitting at 65 miles an hour. This should level off. And we can see both injectors definitely spraying. Number one really does all of the work. Number two is just kind of hanging out there with a little bit of spray but we're sitting on 25 to 30 milliseconds. So eight for number two injector. Very interesting, at 65 miles an hour, we're consuming quite a bit more than we were at 55 miles an hour. Is this someone in front of me? Looks like we got somebody in front of us. So we're gonna go ahead and move over because we are safe. Look at that our first vehicle that we've come across cruising at 65 miles an hour we got 32 and uh, we got zero so number one is fluctuating let's bring it up to 75 because we know the harder that the engine has to work which now we're dealing with wind resistance but thankfully we're on bonneville salt flats so it is it's not perfectly smooth, but we know it's flat because that's where they do all the big speed testing. So we know we have accurate platform. All right, so it's actually lower at 75 miles an hour. So we're sitting roughly 17, 18. You can see our total consumption during drive cycle is going up. This is pretty cool. This scan tool can show us this data in real time Again, on Bonneville Salt Flats, this is awesome. You really can't do a better test than this to see unless you have a dyno, but then you can't really do wind resistance. 
but I don't know, I'm not a professional in that regard. So let's just bump this up to 80 miles an hour from 75, see what that does to our DEF consumption rate. You can see number one just skyrockets when we accelerate. So anytime you're accelerating, you're definitely dumping in more DEF fluid, but that number is below 20. We're sitting on 18, 19. It's kind of all over the place, so maybe this will help some people to, if they want to minimize their DEF consumption, obviously lessen the load. The less strain that's on the engine, the less it's going to use, but we're sitting right around 20. Let's see what 85 brings us. See if that ramps it up a major amount. You can see it dumping right now. All right, we're holding steady at 85. It should level off. We're holding in the 30s, so above 80. It definitely a huge difference right there. We're up near 40, 50, 60. Oh, yeah. Number one is pouring it in at 85 miles an hour, so that's definitely showing you as the engine is working harder, it's for sure got to spray in more DEF, but that is so cool to see that DEF consumption rate like that. Now you can see the during drive cycle at 0.042, it's definitely climbed up. Now obviously, we're sitting on 60 now at 85. Yeah, it definitely, if you're above 80 miles an hour, it is dumping DEF fluid in for sure. Now let's go ahead and bring this down. I would like to loop back around. I want to click it into sport mode and see if these numbers change at all. And just for the record, it is 92 degrees outside. We, when I was outside, there was no wind factor to deal with. I'm just safely bringing this down. And I'm gonna click it into sport mode right now. And I'm gonna make a U-turn, a safe U-turn. I looked in all of my mirrors. Before we did that, and here we go. I'd like to find this blue line again. There's the blue line. Awesome. All right, so we're going to bring this up. Where do we start at? 30 or 40? All right, so we're going to hold 40 miles an hour right there. Oh, we got sun. I may not be able to do this with the sun. We may not be able to get it in this direction with the sunlight we're dealing with right now. We're going to go ahead and stick with it and see what we got. I'll read off the numbers. If it's tough to read, that's my bad. But we're going to work with what we've got. So I'm cruising at 40 miles an hour right now. We just hit that. So let's see here. We're at 6.5. We've got injector 1 and 2 in. They're both under 10. We're sitting on 5. So 40 miles an hour. You're using very minimal def. Let's bump it up to 45. You can see it ramped up. Okay, we've got uh, actually number two def injector was spraying quite a bit, but we're we got both around six to seven. Let's see what 55 brings us. There's our 55 miles an hour. It just clicked into the gear. It's holding. So we got 1415 for def one and def injector two sitting around six or so. Now I'm thinking Def Injector 2 did not come in until later on the previous run just because it was not ready, but we've been driving this thing quite a bit. It should have been ready. So not totally sure why Def Injector 2 did not come in. But we'll continue on. This is 55 miles an hour, 17, 18. Reading there, we got about five from Def Injector 2. All right, we're gonna bump it to 65 to see how that changes. You can see the Def rate goes up considerably since we are dumping fuel to accelerate. All right, we are sitting around 20 to 25, 26 for DEF injector one. Injector two, sitting around six and a half, we got six. All right, so 30, 30-ish for DEF one. Let's see what 75 brings us from, from there. 
I know we skipped right over 70 miles an hour, but let's see what 75 brings us. So we got 25s. We got 20 to 25 seems to be DAF injector 1. DAF injector 2 sitting around 5, 6. And let's bump it to 80 to see how that changes things. All right, we're leveling off around 40, 30. There's our 20s again. All right, we're sitting around 6 for DEF 2, 20 for DEF 1. I'm going to just shut down sport mode. And we're going to see if that changes anything on the fly. 18, 19 did not change anything on the fly, so I don't think sport really does anything as far as performance goes. But there's our numbers flowing at 80 or cruising at 80 miles an hour. We're using uh, a decent amount of DEF fluid. So it's got a 20-ish 20, 20 milliseconds response time. This is clicking away DEF fluid.